and welcome to the channel my name is Georgia and today I'm going to be watching season 5 episode 7 of Supernatural. Last episode we got introduced to this child who was the little antichrist which I really hope is a storyline that they'll develop further but I don't think they will. I have a sneaking suspicion they won't but I'm, I'm intrigued to know why they don't if they don't continue it because the Antichrist is one of the biggest figures in like biblical history right he's the antithesis of Jesus Christ and saying that Jesus Christ probably is never going to be in this show either but the Antichrist is such a big piece of being evil it's interesting that they've decided to put it as a child who may never appear again but as for the episode i quite liked the message that it put across with how this child was so innocent in this evil world and he was a massive source of evil but at this point in time he was just a kid who believed in stories that adults tell their children like you'll get ill if you mess around with pot rots and coat the tooth fairy collecting your teeth you'll scratch your brains out if you have itching powder on you stuff like that it's just this innocent little boy who was being neglected by his parents that just suddenly had all this thrown on him that he was a demon child and could really do some damage to this world so he had to make a decision and decided to just fly off to australia on his own like how what does he do now he's like what seven eight years old and now he's just suddenly flown off to australia what's he gonna do when he gets there like that's a spin-off series on his own and then that conversation with sam and dean in the car drive home well the car drive not home was so somber like they they understand now why parents tell these lies to their kids and they wish that their dad had lied to them and protected them from all this um which of course is something they never had but adam did have which i'm still <laughs> adam again another one episode thing that just left like they introduced a third winchester son and he was dead like where do they get this interesting stuff from and decide to only leave it for one episode? I don't even know. Castiel was wanting to kill the child though. I think his name was Jesse. And obviously the Winchesters weren't just going to do that. So they went about it their own way. And I guess the best possible outcome has occurred because... I mean, it, it's horrible that this is the best possible outcome because he's now out there on his own. But he's just staying away from it all. He's not going to be playing for the evil, but he's also not going to be working with Sam and Dean for the good even though he could have a lot of power for the good it's not right for a child to be messed up in this he's like, he's literally under the age of 10 i'm pretty sure so it's not it's not a world for him to be in and going to australia is a pretty smart move the apocalypse is here psychics <laughs> nice to see you too so many episodes start off with like a husband running in in some kind of stressed ordeal or like being possessed by something. It's always the husband. Oh my god, what is... Is he... Has he just aged? Oh no, that is weird. Honey? Are you okay? I don't know if that's your honey anymore. He's literally just aged to his death. <laughs> what do you even think in that situation? How does that come about? Age? <laughs> Meet Xavier. Date of birth, April 3rd, 1984. <gasps> the curious the case of Dean Winchester. Definitely. It's gonna happen to Dean, isn't it? Decedent's male, 25 years old, and he died of old age. That is some hard luck. It's definitely a job. Thought so. Any Bobby. other stiffs in town? Uh, just the one body. How are you doing? Doing? Yeah, you know, just in general. How are you oh, feeling? Oh, you mean my legs. Well, I'm just weeping in my hagen dies. Idiot. It's going to take a toll on you mentally, though. Look at him. He looks so depressed. Hey, what the... Oh. oh. God. Oh. It's gooey. Ew. Sorry. He's young. Nice tattoo. Huh. Your wife told us about your birthmark there. That's nice. Well, you look great. 
Cliff, did you get some work done? He's taken someone else's life then, probably. It's gonna be a bit like Faith. It was a game. Like, like Xbox? What's Xbox? Oh, God. You know, You've gotta stay young. You have I to get used to this stuff, you? you play for years. I'm laughing. But then I come out up. And look at me. What was he chanting? How should I know? Yeah, come on. To a layman, you can't recite it. 35, brown hair, Irish accent. Name's Patrick. All right. That is right, the most back? stereotypical Irish thing I've ever heard. Never stays in one bar long. And he finds you. Don't know any Ben. Sure you do. No balding, smart ass, real ladies man. He sure seems to know you. Brown back. Take the elevator down. Bobby. What the hell are you doing here? Planting daisies. What's it look like? Came in on the case. So you found the game? Yep. Did you stop it? Did he play? Bobby? No, he played, didn't he? What did you do? I played, okay? Uh, no! I lost. You idiot. They're my years. I can do what I want. How many did you lose? 25. 25. Oh, God, it's so fast acting. We're not done. That just shows how no, he really is feeling then, doesn't it? Because he wanted to play for that. I don't know what it is you think I did to your wife, or girlfriend, mother or sister, but uh, I just want you to know my feelings were real. My that feelings my were real. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to be impersonating him the whole time. He lost. Them's the brakes. Well, then I'll lose him. How do you reverse this? You want yours? Great. Play me for him. Fine. No. no! Oh my god, Bobby! <laughs> He's so great! <coughs> Lozenge? Buying's 25 years. Make it 50. I like the cut of your jab. I like the cut of your jab. <laughs> That's 25 years. They go to him. He's cashing out. Dean? Bobby? I should be okay. Last 25 years, you just pissed away. Better be sure you can win him back. Yeah. Shuffle up and deal. I have absolutely no idea how you play poker. And Sam has no idea. He's just out buying coffee. You find anything? Uh, you might say. Oh, no. Who the hell are you? <laughs> Dude, relax. <laughs> Dean? <laughs> Hi. I, you know... Found the game. It's the way he sounds exactly like him. You know, I found the game. <laughs> it feels so deep. And it's like he's trying to play it cool as well. Like, oh, it's no big deal. It's no big deal, Sammy. He sounds very, like, Italian, though. Or like a New Yorker. I thought you said you were good at poker. I am. Shut up. Clearly not that good. So you were just going to shoot some old guys at us? Oh, I see you met John McCain there. Yeah. <laughs> Either you want to tell me what happened? Bobby's an idiot. That's what happened. I'm sure nobody asked you to lose. It's like grumpy old men. Shut up, Sam. <laughs> you saw a chance to turn the hands of the clock back and get out of that damn chair. Pretty tempting. Mm. Look at me. My junk's rustier than yours. You hear me, yeah. Billy? Huh? Actually, yeah. <laughs> the sandwich doesn't quite do what it used to. It's a bit of indigestion. What is it? Acid reflux. Guys your age can't digest certain foods. You're going to need to put down that cheeseburger. Sam is loving life. <laughs> Remember what he chanted? Yep, every word. All right, then let's find out where he stashes his chips. How? I'm ready for housekeeping, sir? No, don't Board do me. this. <laughs> You're just like my grandfather. He hits on anything that moves to. Wait, he's also wearing Dean's clothes. This is so funny. <laughs> Dean. What the hell? I gotta say, I kinda <laughs> like the guy. How is he so indestructible? Well, I'm out. Oh. <laughs> Dean can't, can't quite go as fast as he used to. Dean. Oh no. <laughs> He's miles behind him. <laughs> 
What's all that stuff around his door handle? Piece of cake. <sighs> it's like... Mission pathetic. Watch out. It is actually sad though, in a way, because it's like, you know, life is so much harder when you age. What are you doing? But you the chick from the bar. I'm a lot more than that. <laughs> It's all right, sweetheart. It's all right. They're harmless. So they play people together. They're just chips, Einstein's. It's showmanship. The magic does not lie in a pile of crappy plywood or in any phony abracadabra. It's in the 900-year-old witch. Mm -hmm. You boys want yours? Score them the old-fashioned way. Let's do it. More? That's what I thought. <sighs> if your eyesight's that bad, what about your memory? I'm not a murderer. Should have taken better care of that ticker. You're free to go. I've just had a really horrifying, depressing thought, so I'm going to get it out there now. What if this is the oldest Dean will ever be? Because <laughs> I do have this fear that at the end of the show, they're both going to die, or one of them's going to die. I don't think it's going to end with them both being alive, because the nature of this show, I can't see it ending happily. So I think one of them's going to die, or they're both going to die together. Oh my god, that would be... A long time away, so I don't really need to think about it, but what if this is the oldest Dean's ever going to be if he dies at the end of season 15 or something like that? This could actually be his twilight years, because this could be the oldest age he'll ever have to experience. Oh, Okay, now that thought's out there. Season 15 is ages away from me. I don't know how it's going to pan out, but I just had to get that thought out there now, and I can carry on with the app. I can't let you leave without a small parting gift. What are you doing? You'll find out soon enough. I don't like the sound of that. The man is quite charismatic though. Oh no. Why is he walking like that? I believe that he which gave you the clap. <gasps> that is so rude. Why? He didn't even play. You know, I still think I should play. No. Do you know how to? You're not good enough. I'm better. Bobby's way better. We both are. When you get to be our age, you're, you're 30. Oh, Dean, shut up. <laughs> Look, I've watched you hustle plenty of poker. Knowing the game is not enough, Sam. It's not about playing the card. It's about playing the other guy. What exactly am I living for, huh? The damn apocalypse? I'm glad he's finally voicing this to them rather than just shrugging it off. I ain't a hunter no more. I'm useless. And if I wasn't such a coward, I stuck a gun in my mouth day I got home from the hospital. No. What is this? The most powerful reversal spell you've ever laid your eyes on. Hmm. And it reverses what? Patrick's work. She wants out. If it zaps everyone, don't that include your man? And me too. I look good for my age. Why would you want that? I have my reasons. Who's playing now? Don't be Sam. Okay, good. Oh, God. I thought you said you weren't a murderer, man. This guy is so old. What are you up like 13 years there, Ash? What do you say we call it a day? Shalom, my friend. Shalom. Why did he do that? It was nice of you. I'm a nice guy. Did he do it for Sam's benefit? Because he knows that's a more interesting game. My elbows. I'm all <laughs> freaky. Hurry up, you crybaby. <laughs> Can you straighten up? <laughs> yeah, but a little sympathy wouldn't hurt. Butt cheek tingling. Some sciatica there. It's sciatica. You'll live. Keep digging. Does your big brother know you're here? Bet five. I raise. He must know Who you are, he's right? there. Nice. Otherwise, he'd be with them digging up the grave. They still want to sit here with the kitty table. Oh, this is playing into his insecurity, isn't it? Your intuition is good. How's he going? How do you think it's going? What about you? You have everything you need? We still need a little he-witch DNA. You Too thick. Hurry up, Dean. Please. Get a me, me, air, my ponus, gia, na hog, Get a me, me, air, sukellus. Bobby doesn't quite put the accent on. <laughs> Is this what you meant to give your big brother? Oh. The one you gave him never passed my lips. Don't like cheating, Sam. How 
Can you not do something? He tried to kill us. I did it. I gave him the spell. <sighs> you know. Is it about that locket? His charisma's no. gone now. Percentage player betting the farm. Awful transparent of you, Sam. Yeah, bet yourself right out of a big pot. <laughs> I fold. Oh. Nice bluff. Your brother's gonna be dead soon. And when I say soon, oh. I mean minutes. The stairs are gonna conk him off. No. Oh. You get so emotional, your brain just flies right out the window. Stop talking. Go to hell. I'm all in. Now where's my brother? Look, there's poker and then there's suicide. Just play the hand. You've driven him to this. Oh God. Quick. What do they say? I don't know what they're supposed to say in this game. Oh, I'm oh. sorry, kid. Is there a better hand than that? What if he has the same? It has four fours. Man, I don't get this game. Four of a kind? <laughs> well played. There's more to you than meets the eye. Yeah, come on, Sammy! In for Dean, please. Oh, he's back! He forgot the wine glass, though. <laughs> <laughs> are they still gonna go ahead with the spell because he just lets out they might they have to they have to because it's not fair that he's doing this to people but he was so impressed by Sam he just easily agreed he, he does actually stick to his word doesn't he he said he said he's not a murderer and he doesn't like cheating and all this stuff so he is actually technically quite fair and he does dish out the rewards as he promises he's not nice but he's fair and I like that but still hope they take him down <laughs> Yes, you can. Don't oh, are they going to do that? Do it themselves? I don't want to win. I buried my daughter, and she looked like this. You did this against a baby. What the hell is wrong with you? No, when you decided to come. Never mind. <laughs> I'm forgetting that they're old. <laughs> They did not do it against a baby. They just outlived their daughter, okay? <laughs> I miss my family. I'm sorry, Patrick. I don't think I can do this without you. You got on okay for a long time before you met me. All in. What is she when so? Thank you. No tricks. You actually beat the guy. How the hell? Alright, I'll see y'all guys later. Where are you going? Uh, <laughs> Back with the burgers. You know her. A booster shot. Don't say it. <laughs> I'm saying, you know, if I was in your shoes, you'd never stop complaining. <laughs> We've had a little taster of that already. You're not useless, Bobby. Oh. Okay. Good talk. No, carry on the talk. You don't stop being a soldier because you got wounded in battle. I can't do this without you. I can't. So don't you dare think about checking out. You still need him just as much as ever. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Now we done feeling our feelings, because I'd like to get out of this room before we both start growing lady parts. Oh, stop it. It's okay to have feelings. I really liked that episode. <laughs> but... I don't really know what's going to happen with the Irish Traveller now. Like, does he just continue on? He's lost the love of his life. But is he just still going to go around trading trading people's lives for his own? I don't really know why they didn't try and go ahead with this spell anyway. Because even though Dean got fixed and Sam won, it doesn't stop that he still is gonna do this to other people. Unless I miss something, which does happen sometimes. It didn't really seem like he had much intention of stopping. He said to um, the the lady, I don't know if I can do this without you. And she said, you, you lasted just fine w before you met me, which gives the impression that he could continue. But the question is whether he will or not. I, I just would have thought that they would have gone ahead with the spell. Anyway, if, if they brought the wine glass down and finished it. Anyway, the actor that played old Dean 
did such a great job. Like the mannerisms and the writing as well, of course, because I mean, they are just lines that Dean would say, but the way he delivered the lines and even the voice had a twang. He sounded a lot more italian -y than Dean does. But Dean does have that twinge, doesn't he? So it was quite accurate, but yeah, the, it just, it was Dean. It was an old Dean and he didn't stop complaining, which is exactly how I can imagine him. <laughs> that little, that little bit at the end where he chucked away the burger, does that mean he's going to start taking care of himself? I wonder how long that's going to last, eh? <laughs> Love that Sam won and defied everyone's expectations, even the, uh... The dealer patrick was his name wasn't it because he's irish he did great so good he fooled them uh i mean four fours doesn't sound like a winning hand against two aces but i guess that's the rules of poker it must be that it's four of a kind right that's why it wins uh, i really do not understand poker i've tried playing it before online like not for actual money that's for sure as a beginner but I, I did try because it's like one of the most popular card games in the universe and um, tried playing it but I just I can't understand it and how much you bet and stuff it's just not for me I'll stick to my solitaire thanks Bobby 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 I I had a feeling when it first showed when it, when they first revealed that he played the game I had a feeling there was going to be a point in the episode where I tear up and it did happen <laughs> The Dean and Bobby scene at the end. Also, in fact, the scene when Bobby said, like, he's useless now, he's a broken down person and all that, because he is still useful. He still rings up the boys and gives them cases, and I'm sure there is still stuff that he does, but he's just not as able as he once was, and he obviously doesn't go out on the hunts. We didn't actually often see Bobby out on hunts. Most of the time when we see him, he's just calling and giving the boys info anyway, so it doesn't actually seem like he's much different, but he obviously must go on hunts in his own time, like by himself and stuff that we just don't see. Giving him the opportunity to actually vocalise his feelings really does change the game and see how he's feeling, because it's such a big life change, like just suddenly not being able to walk. You realise how much you really should appreciate the things you're able to do don't you like puts things into perspective like he's just lost his legs and now he feels like he can't do anything there's just such a lack of freedom that you have once something like that happens to you and it's it's so sad and it's even sadder that the way this came about was because he <laughs> he didn't want to kill Dean. He was possessed and he fought a demon and overrode it and stabbed himself instead of stabbing Dean and it's just like, he's like this because his love for Dean overpowered a demon and it's just so emotional. I'm glad Dean told him how much they need him because even if he's not the great hunter that he once was, he still is the boy's biggest father figure, their biggest confidant, the one that's always going to be there to remind them how they're idiots. <laughs> He's Bobby, they they just need him, they can't lose him as well. Sam and Dean at this point in time, all they've really got is each other and Bobby, there's no one else in their lives really, I wish Helen and Joe were but they're not. It's just them and they really really do need Bobby and I think he underestimates how vital he is to them. It's another one of those episodes, it's very funny but then it has a hint of like emotion and realism towards the end that's like oh, a very very good monster of the week episode i really liked it that's for today guys thanks for watching my reaction to season 5 episode 7 of supernatural if you want to watch my uncut reactions to supernatural the link to the patreon page will be in the description below leave a like if you enjoyed and i'll see you next time for episode 8 bye <laughs>